still there, man. Hell nah. Oh, no, but still there. Well, I'll be down. Ain't finna be there no more. Ain't finna be here no more. Come on, car. Squeeze another another trip to the scrap yard out this day, man. If I can't get to them today, then I just start loading up the trailer, and then uh, we'll head up to Norwalk Monday. I have all weekend to load up the trailer, and then I head to Norwalk Monday. one I got one bone to pick with this GoPro man for whatever reason it doesn't record my videos in order it be having the videos scattered around and you have to search through all the videos to try to figure out which ones uh, which videos are connected to each other and I don't um, I don't know what I did with that that USB cord that goes with the go that comes that goes with the GoPro so that because right now I have to take my SD card out to GoPro and put it into the computer to get the, 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 the videos off. Now it's a cord. There's a cord where you're supposed to be able to plug into the GoPro and connect it to the computer and that way you could transfer the files out that way. I don't know what I did with that damn cord and so I'm going to have to go and I'm gonna have to go and get another one. And um, I'm gonna have to go get another one of them cords. And maybe it's some, maybe I gotta get on the on the GoPro itself and <clears throat> play with the settings or something, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know why it won't uh, record the videos in order or store the videos in order. They just be all over the place, man. It don't make any sense to me why that happens like that so i'd be having to comb through the video try to figure out do this video go with this one and does this video end where that one starts and i'd be trying to have to figure all that shit out man and so it's a little annoying actually Yeah, we on the road to a hundred subs, y'all. This is this is amazing to me, cause I just uh, this this is this is amazing to me, man. I started I started this channel last year in March, right? Last year in March I started the channel, but the whole year of 2000, 2023, I only posted. I posted three batches of videos, just three batches. And 
none of the shit was consistent because I, I i was i was using my cell phone to record and you can't record and work at the same time and uh so that's how that's how most of the videos was so they wasn't done as frequently right so i think i posted a couple videos i think i posted a couple videos in march i posted a couple more in june and then i posted a couple more in august of 2023 that was it then if in uh february in february i ended up getting a gopro and my first i posted the first video from the gopro february february 20 uh february 17th i posted the first video and i had a lot of videos that i recorded just with with the phone and stuff and um i never posted them and so all of those videos plus the new stuff that i got from the gopro i started posting in 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 uh in february so in february in february i had six subscribers six man it's it's been it's been a, a little over a month no it ain't even been a month yeah it hasn't even been a month i started posting videos in february the the 17th of february and this is march this ain't even the 17th yet so it hasn't even been a month and i've already amassed almost 100 subscribers and i have over 7,000 views you know what i mean and that's crazy to me and when i looked uh i looked and i seen that i have 400 viewing hours that is just crazy to me man so again I got to shout out my subscribers. I got to shout out. Uh, I got to shout out to people that's watching. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I love it, man. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, man. When you, when you, you do the stuff that you like to do and people like watching you do it. It's a dope feeling, man. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I hope y'all keep watching, keep subscribing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to get to it. Let me see, man. So yesterday I seen two homeless guys in this dumpster, man. So... So if it was anything in here, they took it off. Yeah. If it was anything in there, them guys took it off. I saw two two homeless guys in there yesterday, man. And supposed to go to the quarry and pick up a ton of um, a ton of gravel today that's if it doesn't rain hopefully it don't rain I'll go pick up this gravel 
That ought to be interesting. Some, some, man. A little something. A little something, something, something. Some. A little something, something, something. Some, some. For the people who saw that dumpster full of metal right there, um, I already asked them what they was doing with their metal, and they said that they were scrapping it themselves. And the dumpster they got is from one of the scrap yards here in Sandusky. And uh, if you ask me, that's the worst uh, scrap yard in Sandusky. They is terrible. They are they are extremely terrible, man. I called them one day. I called them one day to. Uh, to basically get a price list, what their prices is for different stuff. And um, so the guy just, all he kept saying, depends on what you got, depends on what you got. And so I was like, so what if I had 15 refrigerators? The guy said, oh, you're only gonna get three cents a pound for refrigerators. I said, three cents? He said, yeah. He said, they're mostly foam. You're only gonna get three cents. I said, all right, so what if I had, shit. I said, what if I had like 10, 10 stoves? He's like, uh, maybe five cents. I said, damn, five cents for a stove? And um, their prices was just so low. And I done heard so many stories from other scrappers who went to them about how they, they, they cheat you on the, um, they just teach you all the way around the board, man. So. And I went there one day, I was looking for an uh, axle for my trailer. And uh, so I'm talking to the guy while I'm there. And uh, 
basically because because I didn't get my scrap from because I didn't take my scrap to them the guy had an attitude and you know I'm I'm here trying to buy an axle for you from you and they didn't want to pull the axle they told me I was gonna have to get it myself and I was like god damn it's like the axles are over there he just had a whole attitude man it was crazy he just had a whole attitude and uh he just told me the direction of where the axles was at you know didn't he just said they're over there said you're gonna have to get it yourself i was like damn and uh and i seen some axles too that probably would have fit on my trailer because i measured them but there's no way in hell i could put them them uh there's no way in hell I could have pulled them axles from where they was at. There's just no way I could have did that without machinery. And they wasn't gonna allow, and the guy was, he wasn't gonna let them uh, help me pull that stuff out of there. So I ended up just leaving, man. truck man a little something something man we'll toss it in the truck is that plastic it's plastic I thought that silver was some metal that damn thing plastic We'll keep it pushing. Let's see what else we can find, y'all. Let's go down here, man. I don't think it's gonna be nothing out here. be glad when summer is officially here I'm gonna be so busy man between bounce houses and junk removals and scrapping man I'm gonna be so busy Do that mug, man. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Ride back through. And then go down that way. Yeah, I don't like going in dumpsters that's sitting in somebody's driveway, man. I don't like to do that. So unless I see the the homeowner or something outside, man, I don't even I don't even do that. Unless I see them outside and I ask them if I can go in there. Other than that, though, I ain't going to do it. There's probably some stuff in there, but... What is that there? What is that? A microwave or something, maybe? Yep, definitely a microwave. All right. Okay, Mikey, Mike, get in my truck. It's a big microwave, too. Get in my truck. One of them big boy microwaves.
couple days ago, y'all, I went running. First time I ran in years. And uh, the day after I ran, my legs was cool. They was a little stiff, but I had mobility. The next day after that and today, bare minimum mobility, man. My, my legs is killing me. It's hard going upstairs. It was well, easy to go up the stairs. It's hard going down the stairs. But uh, yeah, my legs is through. Man, I ain't tried stretching them out, all type of shit. My legs are through. I was hoping, I was hoping they was gonna be healed up today so I could go run again, man. But that ain't the case. So, hopefully tomorrow, Tomorrow, or whatever, they'll be better, man. I need me a truck like that, man. Need a real healthy and hearty truck. 